bad things. These are good things. And people that have helped you on that road are not bad people. They're good people. But there's a big difference between standing and saying, I'm a living man or a living, breathing woman, or I'm a sovereign, and I am trust recipient number, da 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 because I belong to a superior register. I am contesting your title. Big, big difference. Huge difference. Now, if the system challenges that, they're breaking about four of their fundamental pillars. That's what we're doing. That's why we're doing it. So I, I may not have gone into the detail, but it was such an open question I, I needed to answer with, please read, and that's one practical reason why we're using trust recipient number. All right? Well, yeah. <clears throat> that just was expanded on uh, in, in my set here. Um, that they were referring to uh, when it should be used. I mean, if, a, if another divine immortal spirit, uh, flesh and blood man or woman, is communicating with each other, you know, it, it, oh, well, that's the question I'm talking to you about is yeah, when, right. you, that you know, that would have and my when answer. you use that <laughs> number, yeah. would be when you're standing in front of someone that's challenging or in a courtroom, and that's what, what I, I, you know, what the question was to clarify, please. Uh, I did, yeah, I didn't. You didn't give me that bit. Uh, would have been a very short answer. Yes, uh, I'm talking to you, Terry. You're talking to me, Frank. Uh, when I'm not challenging you, you're not challenging me. So that's that's straightforward. But as you just said, Terry, if someone is going in and uh, and saying, uh, uh, "What is your name?" and they're sitting on a on a bench in black robes of Baal then that's when you use trust recipient number. Yes, and uh, also what would be in your feelings, uh, communications to those entities as well. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. All right, great. Thank you for, for clearing that up. Uh, let's see. Star 8, for those of you that are on the phone, let's see, we've got uh, Tiber. On the phone lines here. Are Hi, Frank. Good? How you doing? Hi, good. Good. I hope you and your family are well. Um, this is JD. A um, couple of questions. The name on the yes. EDP for court is in lowercase. Should it be in lowercase on the EDP for vital statistics? Yeah, look, I'm going to, one of the good things about tonight is there's a number of inconsistencies in some of the instruction. I'm going to clear it up. Look, okay. Once and for all, it should be lowercase, and wherever it says proper case, I'll fix it. And, and we'll clear up that mistake. So I'm okay. sorry to all, but anyone that's done it, don't think that it's invalidated what you've done. It's just clearing up for the future. That's all. Okay, great. Uh, we have here in Canada a lodial title. Any land owned by the Crown, we can go and stake a claim for it, put an ad in the paper, get it surveyed. Nobody complains in common law. It's our land. Yep. Okay. Uh, what about the tax? Do we send an EDP to the tax board? Uh, in, in your claim of title? Yeah, or do we just um, send it to the vital statistics and then we're dropped out of the tax, or do we also send one to them? Okay, what I do, you do vital statistics on your claim of right, which is about your flesh, your name, your spirit. Then I would do, if I'm looking to land for possession, I would do what you've just described, if, if it's available, which is the, which is the uh, promised land record, your um, survey uh, certificate, and your um, vacant possession, and then your deed of uh, right, right and title and then what I do is put a copy of those things together and um, and forward through uh, to make clear that um, they can't tax you because you're outside the system. Uh, I was yep, referring absolutely. to personal income tax. Oh well personal income tax is blown out of the water uh, when excellent. you've done your valid statistics. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Because, yeah. Yeah. Totally. And last question, in 10 months you're leaving, um, are there any training or, you know, we just read through the canons and try and cipher it ourselves or do we have direction or anything? Will there be well, somebody taken well, into place? Yeah, what's happening is, is in the next few months is a rapid uh, movement towards um, UK being self-sufficient and autonomous in communities. And some of those communities might only be 10 or 15 people. I'm Excellent. hoping that there will be more than that. I hope that there will be a few hundred per community. Uh, but it's going to then going to be up to the communities to take this knowledge and build from it. And uh, it'll be the tools that are available. Um, but, yeah, it's un unfortunately, you're very much going to be, well, fortunately, there are a lot of good people, but you are going to be on your own. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. 
All right. Thank you very much, Frank, for your time. It was a very good call tonight, and uh, I wish you the best. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> okay. Uh, there was a question about the deeds of facts and interrogatories. Uh, did you say that was going to be ready soon, or uh, is that ready and available yet? Uh, it should have been ready this week, but because of this work in reviewing the significance of Leviticus, in the ceiling of it, uh, it's going to be probably another four days. So, yeah, it's going to be four days before the whole section on Great Ritz will be up on the system. Okay. All right, thank you for clearing that up, uh, Frank. Uh, all right, uh, I am not seeing any other phone line questions, and that pretty much wraps it up for the... Uh, oh, there is one more question. Can we fax our EDP. Um, yeah, you can fax them, but I, I, I mean, understand what it is. I mean, it it, it needs to be, it needs to be uh, viewed as something of great importance, and I would, um, I would suggest that it needs to be done um, properly through the post and not simply whack, whack through a fax machine. All right. Okay, thank you, Frank. Um, let's see. The the main reason uh, I think we could try to steer away from the fasting is because of the the blood prints and the thumbprints needing to go through as as genuine, and in the color of red. Correct. Yes. All right. Well, Frank, if you want to do a summary and uh, wrap it up, and um, we can call it a a night for tonight. I'll turn it over All to right. you. Well, look, thank, thank you for, yeah, look, again, Terry, thank you for hosting. Um, thanks, everyone, for being on the call. Yeah. Uh, I hope I answered your questions. There was some pretty important stuff covered tonight. Um, we continue to pro progress forward. I will be cleaning up some of those instructions, and I really appreciate some of the clearing up that we need to do on that. And I wish you all the well, everyone, in what you're doing, in your reading, in your competence, in your sharing, and uh, we move forward. So thanks again. Yes, thank you, Frank, for joining us tonight. Uh, we'll be on schedule for next week. Is that correct? Yeah. All right, great. Well, thank you again, Frank. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, thank you for the, the listeners that will be listening later. And uh, enjoy the call. Also, remember to go over to university.ucadia.info. You can join the uh, forum, post the questions there, and uh, enjoy yourselves over there get a lot more information, also one-heaven.org, and uh, the other websites uh, that that can lead you to. So uh, have a great night, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week, same time, same place, 9 p.m. Thursdays. We'll see you at 9 p.m. Eastern. Have a great night. Bye, Frank. Bye, everyone. Good day, Frank. Bye.